It's doing it! <laughs> it's doing the thing that I said where it will like kind of automatically call you. Okay, so I guess like some time has to pass. Um, hello, Tully here. It's a great night for fishing. My pool fish has grown again. Okay, so it's not telling me about the water stone. Um, but that's something that you can do, I guess. If you're using an emulator, you can kind of like cheese it that way to get that fire stone, water stone, leaf stone. Um, so that's really funny. Hi, everyone. Good to see you. Um, I'm happy to be here. Last time we were here, we just defeated Team Rocket, which was awesome. Hello, Loctess. Hello. Thank you for being here. Um, so we have got to... Um, howdy. <laughs> howdy, y'all. Great to be here. Great to see you. Um, it was a pretty solid Wednesday today. Um, work wasn't too terrible. We had to shuffle some things around with some of our staff being kind of out or in and out. It was kind of weird that way, but overall it was pretty good. Um, so one thing before we get into Price's Gym there, I want to take a little fly over to Goldenrod City. Perfecto. And we gotta hop in here and get our haircut for Lucius. And then I want to check his... There we go. I want to check his friendship. All right. Let's do it. Oh, not Pogo. That would have been bad. Okay. There we go. All done. Lucius looks a little happier. Okay. 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 But one thing that we can do is I have a little more money now because I went and grabbed some from my mom. So we can hop over here and there's a few things I want to do. Something that I like to do is when I can get to the point where I can buy... Yes, they sell full heels here. I didn't buy any earlier because I couldn't really afford to have a lot of them. But when I get to the point in the game where I can buy like a good amount of full heels, like I'll buy like 15... Um, I like to sell some of the items that I have that heal um, status moves because a full heal will heal any status move. So I'll get rid of those. Um, I'll still hold on to the berries because they are good to like automatically heal something if you're holding it. Um, is there anything else we need to sell here? We'll sell the guards back. Oh yeah, the nugget. The nugget is an item that's literally made to be sold, so make sure we sell that. Sell an X special, sell an ice heal. Oh yeah, we're doing great now. Love to see that. Okay. So now I want to pop back upstairs to the vitamin place, and we can buy another item in. Item in? <laughs> it's an item that's a vitamin. How funny. Uh... So, I'm going to go ahead and buy a Carbos, because a Carbos will raise your Pokemon's speed. And we're going to give that to Lucius. Speed on out of here. Okay. So now we'll give the Carbos to Lucius, because a Carbos, or any, um, whatchamacallit, any vitamin, <laughs> can increase your Pokemon's happiness. So let's see what our happiness checker says. Treat your Pokemon nicely. They will love you in return. Oh, let me see your Eevee. It's quite cute. Okay. So that means that we are still um, between 100 and 149, and we need to get to 220 for Lucius to evolve. So like I said, it takes, it takes a long time to build up that friendship. And I mean, something that you can do... Um, Taking steps with your Pokemon increases friendship, so you can literally, like, do this. I know this is kind of one of the better spots in the game for, like, a straight shot on your bike. Um, so, technically, taking all of these steps is increasing our friendship with Eevee. Um, and that's a, a way to kind of quickly hatch eggs, too. But we won't really uh, worry about that. One thing that I think will be fun for us to check out is we are going to 
and we don't have any great matchups against them, but we're, we're gonna give it a shot. Um, there is a secret battle that while I was, while we're down here, I kind of want to check out. Um, because the other day we kind of popped down here and we grabbed the nugget that's here. That's right on this little, uh, what's the word? Inlet there. But if you go down here, and there's no real way to know this. Okay. This is ruining everything. Ruining my explanation. I could have used Repel. Okay. So, if you go down here, there's this secret little battle with these three women, which is super cool. And then, we're gonna start. And they all have, um... They all have water type Pokemon. So one has a gold deed and a sea king. One has a shelter and a cloister. And one has a star you and star me, which is just lovely. Mmm. Because I remember um, when we first talked about these, um, when we first talked about these trainers, we had just gotten to Union Cave. Ooh, we're trying to learn counter. That's an interesting move. What can we get rid of here? We can get rid of Leer. That's fine. Um, counter is a great move because if a Pokemon uses a physical attack against you, you will hit it back with double the damage. And counter does it for physical attacks and mirror coat does it for special attacks. And it can be very devastating to your opponent if you time it up right. It takes a lot of strategy. So here we have a Sea King. We'll let Lucius get in here. Probably won't use Lucius a ton in these battles. Okay. I don't think it knows Horn Drill. Okay. I don't like messing with confusion. Okay. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't messing around with that. Um. Because yes, as you recall. Lucius, we really don't want him to die. Super duper don't want him to die. But... Yeah, because then that friendship will just take even longer. And then this person just runs into you before you can do anything. Um, I'm pretty sure you have the opportunity to heal before you fight, like, the third secret sister, secret water sister. Um... Oh, I just also kind of had the thought, these girls down here, they might be kind of like, maybe loosely based, I don't know if they are based, but they might be loosely based on Misty's sisters, um, for you anime enjoyers out there, or for anyone who watched our Yellow playthrough, Misty was the second gym leader, water type gym leader, um, and... The swimmy guy is spelled Lapras. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, but uh, in the anime, Misty had like three sisters and they were considered like the beautiful sisters. And Misty was kind of like the runt of the litter, so to speak. Um, even though she was the best battler, they were all just way cooler and uh, more beautiful. Is, isn't Misty hot? Misty is hot, I know. But uh, in the in the show, her sisters are portrayed as being like the, the awesome ones. Um, don't get cocky, my sister Kate is tough. Ooh. All right, so, oh, no, don't want to do that. We love you, Rupert, but we don't. Oh, I just noticed he has like a, a tiny little blink. Look at his eyes. They like turn gray. Oh, that's so cool. What a little detail. Uh, we'll start with Margo. Uh, yeah, they use special defense. They use physical defense, but that's okay. Ooh, you sure were mean to my little sisters. Hey, they challenged me to a Pokemon battle, sister. I can't help that I'm better than them. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that's true. That's kind of just like a little headcanon thing. I don't know if these are like Misty's sisters or not, but it's a cool little Easter egg. Alright, that's great for Margo. Okay, so for this cloister... 
I'll let Lucius get some experience, but I will pop into Pampras. Okay, you're using Withdraw. So one thing I don't mind against Cloyster is his physical defense, or her physical defense, is very high. But her special defense is not, so even though Surf is a not very effective move, it's going to do more damage than Body Slam in this case, probably. Especially after a withdrawal. Which, again, in Generation 1, that wasn't really a consideration. This is like a new thing. Which is why, in our yellow playthrough, Gyarados was so freaking good. But in this game, Gyarados is still really good, but maybe not quite as good. I can't believe I lost. Well, you did. Get over it. So then, you're too strong. I didn't stand a chance. Here, you deserve this. So then, they give you this really nice item. If you discover this secret battle, they give you this really cool item. It's called a soft sand. Um, I'm sorry we jumped you. We never expected anyone to find us here. You sure startled us. It's true. Um, so they give us a soft sand. What that does, it, it powers up ground type moves. And that's not something we're really gonna use yet. We might use it at some point because our only ground type move is on Sinaiquil there. And um, it's just Mud Slap, which doesn't do a lot of damage in the first place. But uh, we might use it at some point. I know that like our Dunsparce can learn Dig and that might be a good time um, to use it. But I don't know if we will, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I know I would love for something to learn Earthquake. I don't know. I think Heracross might be able to. I'm pretty sure uh, Kolava's Evolved Form can learn Earthquake. Earthquake's one of the best moves in Pokemon history, pretty much. So here, we are going to start in on the trainers in Price's Gym, which Price, Ice, it's a bit on the nose. Um, leader Price, the teacher of Winter's Harshness. And I actually really like it, because Price is like this old, wise man. He's just like, I seen some stuff, kid. And we're just like, don't care, you're old. But you know, I'm 31 now, so I'm starting to feel a lot more like Price than the little kid in this game. So this is an interesting little situation here in his gym. Um, in the gym puzzle, you have to slide around on these ice tiles. And... You'll probably end up fighting all of the trainers. Ooh, nice critical hit, Lucius. Love to see it. You'll probably end up fighting a lot of these trainers in the process. Um, Dugong. So, one thing that's going to be a little bit annoying is that this is an ice-type gym, but a lot of the Pokemon that we're going to run into, like Seal and Dugong, are also part water. So... Quilava's Ember isn't going to be as effective as maybe we would like it to be. And, you know, Rock Smash is super effective, but it's doing a little less than strength, honestly. Oh, nice critical hit. And we'll finish that off. Dugong is a very bulky Pokemon. It has a lot of HP, a lot of hit points. Um, just got another seal. Let's let Lucius knock this out. Oh, actually, we'll wait on Lucius. We'll let it get the level against Price himself because when it comes to Lucius, I'm always on level management duty. Okay, my attack fell, so this headbutt probably won't kill. Won't kill. That is one great uh, benefit of Aurora Beam. I think it's about a 60 power ice move. It's a pretty cool move, and it can lower the opponent's attack, which helped the seal in this case, but not enough. Not enough. Margo is too strong. Margo cannot be contained. Margo is a juggernaut. It's really all there is to it. Couldn't do a thing. Of course you couldn't. You were facing Margo. Alright, so... I'll start with Sinaiquil here. I don't know what this lady has. She might have a Dugong. Yep, that's all she's got, so that's really annoying. And another thing that Dugong, Dugong can do that you'll probably encounter is it can use Rest right on cue. I was literally saying it. And rest puts you to sleep, but it completely heals everything. Um, we'll go into Margo for this. 
Yeah, Dugong is delightful. I feel like Dugong is an underrated Pokemon because, like, for example, it came out at the same time as Lapras and Cloyster, which are also water ice types. And people tend to like Lapras and Cloyster more than Dugong, so it kind of fell to the wayside a little bit. Um, but I think it's a really just kind of like simple, majestic little design. I, I like Dugong. And people <laughs> also think... It, oh, that's annoying. Um, people also think it's funny. Who's the most overrated Pokemon, I'm asked? Hmm. Well, that might be... A little bit easy. I think the most overrated Pokemon is Charizard. I think a lot of people would agree with me. Just because Charizard is just so popular. And it's like, Charizard's great. He's a fire-breathing dragon. I mean, what's not to like there? But it's just... I mean, Pikachu as well. I mean, Pikachu is the mascot. But like, um, Pikachu and Charizard. Because they are kind of like, far and away, the most popular Pokemon. They're kind of like the mascots for the series, so they're always going to get probably more attention than they need to get overall. Um, this guy, I believe, has some swine up. Yes, we have not seen a swine up yet. Mm. Sorry, I'm still a little sniffly, folks, for my sickness. But, um, yeah, I would say Pikachu or Charizard are probably the most overrated, and that's kind of an easy answer, but it's probably true. Um, oh, nice. So Swinub is a ice and ground type, um, and you can actually catch them near here in an area that we can't quite access yet. So for this Swinub, we'll use Pampras. We'll use that uh, beautiful little Surf and just destroy it. But Swinub in its evolved form, Swine, I actually really love. Um, and Piloswine got an evolution in Generation 4, and I'm like, I get it, but I liked it when it was no it's, its old self, you know? Because there are a lot of evolutions that they kind of add after the fact where I'm like, I mean, I don't know. I liked how it used to be. But that's just me. They gotta sell more plushies and whatnot. This lady's just got a jinx. So this is what... Um, whatchamacallit, the Smoochum that we hatched would evolve into. And, okay, I'm really glad that missed because that puts us to sleep. Um, and while I don't really like Jinx, I think Jinx is an extraordinarily ugly Pokemon. <laughs> and if you notice, Jinx's face is purple because Jinx's face used to be black. And that kind of looked kind of looked a little black facey. I don't think they meant to do it. <laughs> so they changed it to purple. Um, and there it is. Lovely kiss. I am asleep. How annoying. Um, I believe this Jinx also has Ice Punch, which is crazy annoying. Because um, Ice Punch is a pretty good move at this point in the game. And yes, as I was saying, um, <laughs> 99. Yep, you're exactly right. Um, Jinx is really good because it has access to Lovely Kiss, which can put you to sleep. It can get strong ice moves like Ice Punch, and it's also a Psychic type, which is a really good type. So even though I don't really like Jinx, I think it's really ugly, it's actually a really good Pokemon. Um, so there's just one more trainer to fight in the gym here, and we will... Um, who will we use? We'll use Rupert Grunt. We'll just kind of speed through this guy real quick. I believe he just has two shelters and a cloister, which we should be able to run through pretty quickly. Another Shelda. I don't believe Shelder is ice type yet. It learns ice type moves, but I'm pretty sure my attack fell. That's stupid. Let's test. Okay, it's not super effective. So Shelder is not ice type yet. I'm sure there's someone who knows more than me who could have told me that already, but... So, for our physical attacker, Rupert Grunt, we'll probably switch out. We'll do what we did against the sisters. We'll use Lapras' Surf, because we don't have any grass or electric moves, so we don't really have a great thing to use on this cloister. Um, we don't have any s special attacks that are super effective against it. And, but as you can see, Surf is really powerful, especially on a Lapras. Mmm. 
trying to stall me out. Um, if you are only familiar with Generation 1, uh, Protect is a move introduced in Generation 2, and we didn't see it in yellow. Oh, nice critical hit. Pretty clutch. Through the confusion as well. But what Protect does is it automatically protects you or guards you from the next from the opponent's next attack. And it can be a good strategy to use if your opponent is like burned or poisoned or maybe confused. So you can kind of stall turns and maybe let them hurt themselves or if they're cursed even. Um, ba, 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 ba. So here I am pretty confident that we can go ahead and beat Price. I don't think, yes. This guy who I stupidly bought Rage Candy Bars from, I'm sorry. <laughs> Rage Candy Bars sold out. I'm packing up. Don't bother me, kiddo. So this guy won't let us pack. Pack? Won't let us pass because he's packing up? What does that even mean? Just let me walk by. It's very stupid. <laughs> um, but here, I usually just kind of go in circles until I'm at price. And it usually works. And there we go. <laughs> Foolproof. So, this is Price. Um, he is a really cool guy. He's an old man. Um, we're, I believe he begins with a seal. So we're gonna start with Margo. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have a pretty nice time with Price, I think. Nothing's gonna be too crazy. Um, I'll make sure I get Lucius in the battle at some point just so it can get some experience. But, uh, let's go, Margo! Thank you. Um, I really like the thing he says after we defeat him. Let's... <laughs> let's go, G-O-T. Perfect. Um, Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I, too, have seen and suffered much in my life. Yes. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been with Pokemon since before you were born. That's so funny. I can literally say that to children now. <laughs> Wow, I really am, Price. Um, I do not lose easily. I, Price, the winter trainer, so I'll demonstrate my power. Uh, <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so here's Price. I actually really like him. I think he's really cool. But his levels aren't very high for this point in the game. And like I was saying, he's technically the seventh gym leader. But... His levels are lower than the 6th gym leader, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but that's okay. We shouldn't have too much trouble with him. At this point, our levels are looking pretty good. I don't think he's gonna give us too much trouble. Hmm. Trading headbutts. Alright. Ooh! Nice flinch, Margo. You are an unstoppable force as usual. Let's see. Now we got the dugong. For Dugong, I am going to go into Rupert Grunt, and we are going to use some of those fighting moves to hopefully lower defense, because I guarantee he's going to try to lower our attack. Ooh, Icy Wind. Um, so that is the move that we get from Price. Icy Wind is its a pretty cool move. It's not very strong. It is... Ooh, got that nice defense drop. Um... Icy Wind is not terribly strong, but it is really good because it lowers your opponent's speed. So this might kill it now. Ah! So close. Don't use rest. Okay, great. So we do outspeed, so we should be able to take out the Dugong. Um, oops, okay, great. Awesome! We're looking great, folks. We're looking great. Um, but yeah, Icy Wind can be a really useful move because it always lowers speed. Um, and we're going to pop Lucius in here. So here's Pilo Swine. I love this little guy. He's got the hair over his eyes. He's got the little tusks. I love him. Uh, they make him evolve into kind of like, kind of like a big woolly mammoth, which like makes total sense. And I'm like, yeah, like I get why they did that. But I like my little guy, my little hairy guy. I'm going to try to go into Sinaiquil. I don't know if the Swine knows any ground moves at this point. Um, because it is part ground. I know it knows Blizzard, which is the strongest Ice-type move. Um, okay, it must not know a ground-type move yet, because 
um, it w definitely would have used it. Um, so yeah, it, it doesn't have great moves. It, it's, re it's pretty slow. It did lower our speed, though, um, with that Icy Wind. Ooh. Excuse me. Because Fury Attack, not a great move. But like I said, it does no Blizzard, so if he gets us low enough, he could knock us out with one. Um, ooh, but I have an Ace in the Hole. Ooh, okay, Blizzard missed. Blizzard, I think, is like a 120 power move. It's really good. But it can miss a lot. There we go, Sunyquil, great. Nice little team effort. Really, really loved what I'm seeing from the whole squad here tonight. And Leader Price was defeated. Like I said, pretty easy. Ah, I am impressed by your prowess with your strong will. I know you will overcome all life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. Okay. So, we received the Glacier Badge. Um, but I really like what Price says. Um, I really like what Morty says. It was kind of sad, but I like what Price says. Um, it raises the special stats of Pokemon. Also lets Pokemon use Whirlpool to get across the real Whirlpools. And this, this is a gift from me. SCG received TM16. It's Icy Wind, like I said. Um... That TM contains Icy Wind, it inflicts damage and lowers speed. It demonstrates the harshness of winter, which is awesome. That's such a cool, just like a nice little nugget. It really makes sense for him, his move. But I really like what he says here. I just think it's really cute. When the ice and snow melt, spring arrives. You and your Pokemon will be together for many years to come. Cherish your time together. How wonderful. So great. Love him. Love you, dude. See you later. Um, so now, we have six badges, but as you can see, we went a little bit out of order, technically. So now, we have to go get the badge from Jasmine, which will be interesting. Um, hmm, I'm actually considering something. Because when we get the badge from Jasmine, we will no longer have access to the Haircut Brothers, maybe for a little bit. Because something's gonna happen that I'm not gonna give away if you haven't played this game before. So I might call a little bit of an audible here. I was gonna, I was gonna charge um, into Jasmine, but maybe I can show y'all some stuff that I haven't showed you yet. That might be, that might be a cool thing to do. Um, Let's pop over to Azalea Town. And we'll heal the squad, because we did not heal a second ago. So here we go. Uh, we'll pop into Kurt. Yeah, we just finished the fastball. Love to see it. Great. Ba -ba 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 so one thing that I had not show had not shown you yet was this little thing that we can do in Slowpoke well, I remember. Okay, we have some Super Repels. I'm probably going to grab a few more of those. So if you recall, this is where we chased off Team Rocket because they were cutting off those Slowpoke tails like crooks. But now that we can move boulders, we can go back here. And we can... surf into this secret little... Is there another one over here? No. Just this secret little ladder. And we can grab some good items. Um, ah, yes, there's a couple good ones here. So, this is the TM for Rain Dance, which is a really good, mo uh, really good move. Um, I think we discussed it a little bit earlier. It powers up a fun secret ladder. I, It's great. That's one of the great things about this game. There are several fun secret ladders. Um... But Rain Dance is a move that powers up Water-type moves, but it also lets the move Thunder, the strongest Electric-type move, never miss, which really helps it. But we have this guy. I'm waiting to see Slowpoke's moment of evolution. Through observation, uh, there's a really long lab time for messages today. Oh, interesting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Um, I might have to check that out at some point. Um, through observation, I made a new discovery. A slowpoke with a king's rock often gets bitten by a shelter. Here, I'll share a king's rock with you. It's your fault. 
JK, thank you. Um, so this is the item King's Rock. If you trade a Slowpoke with the item King's Rock, it will not evolve into Slow Bro, it will evolve into Slow King, which is really cool. So instead of the shelter being on its tail, it's on its head. Wears it like a little hat. <laughs> it's a very cool Pokemon. Um, but we are going to give the King's Rock to someone, because outside of evolving Slowpoke and Poliwhirl in this game into a new evolution, it also increases the chances that your move will flinch an opponent. So we'll give it to Lucius. Um, make Lucius feel like a little king, you know? He's my little king, I tell ya. Uh, Margo's my little queen. <laughs> uh, Margo is my favorite, I will say. Um, okay, so that's the little secret, uh, secret ladder in Slowpoke Well. I'm gonna show you another little secret ladder. Um, there is one in Union Cave. There's another one! Um, eventually we'll go back and fight some of the trainers in Union Cave. I do want to wait a little bit to fight those other ones that we skipped when we caught Lapras. Because we are, eventually, going to add another member to the squad. Um, and I want them to have an opportunity to level up with some trainers. So if you recall, we hopped in here and grabbed, like, the TM for Swift. I believe, uh, much earlier in the game. So what we can do here is we can pop up here and there's a new area. Oh, hello, sir. I did not mean to run into you, but that's okay. Yeah, and his levels, okay, they're, they're, a, little, they're a little up there. Um, let's pop into Pampras, take out this Geodude pretty easily. I'm gonna sneeze. Whew, sorry. Like I said, I'm still, Still a, little, still a little stuffy up in here. Still feeling a little sick, sorry. Um, I'm a chop. I'm a chop. Pretty easy. Let's let Sanaiko in on this one. Yes, my chop does not have very good special defense, so we want to use a special move on him. Alright, lovely. Lovely! So... What we can do here, when we go to the secret area of Union Cave, uh, we'll go ahead and fight this guy too. Um, I'm feeling... While we're here, might as well let Pampras just destroy this man. This is gonna be a three surf sweep. One. Two. Three. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Pampras is really good. If you are able to pick up a Lapras in your playthrough, it is crazy strong. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here, and there is this Strength Boulder. And there is a special spot that you can go. Um, if you recall, we went to the Ruins of Alf earlier. And... What we can do here... Oops, that's my, that's my trainer card. I'm going to save real quick. Um, ooh, actually, I'm not going to go here yet. I'm going to go to a different door first. Um, up here is the door I want to go to. Yes, because there's two little doors. Here. This guy, he has a... Oh, he has a giraffe rig, I believe. So, yes, I wasn't able to show that to you. So, let me show that to you. This is a secret area of the Ruins of Alf. Um, you can access this secret area through Union Cave, and it takes a lot of... See, there's Giraffe Rig. It's such a cool little Pokemon. It has that cool little, like, other self. That's its tail. Um, I know they really wanted to do kind of like a yin-yang type thing with Giraffe Rig. That's why its name is a palindrome, which is delightful. Um, a cool little detail. Um, and in the newest Pokemon games, Giraffe Rig actually evolves. It took a, a long time, but it actually evolves in Scarlet and Violet. It evolves into a Pokemon called Ferrigaraph, which is also a palindrome, which is neat. Super neat. Um, but another one of the reasons I wanted to pop over here and show you this is 
this is an area. How many Pokeballs do I have? Uh, okay, we'll see how I do. Um, this is an area where you can catch one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. And this patch of grass right here is the only place you can catch it. I think it's so awesome how the old games worked where you could have these patches of grass where you could only catch a Pokemon. I'm just needed my repel to wear off there. And it's a very special Pokemon. Um, greetings! Hello! Um, it's actually... Natu is not the Pokemon I was talking about. Um, but this is the only place you can catch one in the game as well. This patch of grass is very special that way. So you can catch a uh, Natu here. It is a um, psychic flying type. It's kind of based on like a totem pole-like design. You'll see its evolution later in the game. Um, but here... This is, once we find one, it's one of my favorite Pokemon ever. Sorry, I'm going to speed up a little bit because I want to try to catch one. Um, when I was a kid, I was fascinated with it um, because it, it has a very distinct kind of gimmick um, in the way that... Um... Oh, wow, you can catch Quagsire. I actually didn't know that. Um, so this is what Wooper evolves into. It's a really cute, cute little fella. Is it really? Is it a 1% encounter rate? I thought it was higher than that. Um, hold on, let me check. Uh, let's see. Margo's beautiful cry. Um, alright, so let's see. Oh, I can't escape. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Oh, that's so annoying. So, guys. Oh, I messed up. You can only catch this Pokemon during the morning or day. But, in... Yeah, it's 10%, but you can only catch it in the morning or the daytime. You can't catch it at night, but it's only in Pokemon Crystal. and Gold and Silver, you can catch it at night. Ah, oh, ruin my whole plan. Boo! Boo is right. I was going to catch one, too. The Pokemon I'm talking about is Smeargle. It's a little dog with, like, paint on its tail, and it's super awesome. It wears, like, this... It has this thing on its head that looks like a beret. It's freaking adorable. And what it does is the only move it can learn is a move called Sketch. And when you use that move, um, I will have to catch a Smeargle for you, for you guys now. That, like, ruins everything. I hate that. <laughs> um, I should get a battle going. Oh, another thing that can happen with the phone numbers is that they can challenge you to a battle. Um, which is kind of neat. But what Smeargle does is he um, can only learn the move Sketch. And what Sketch does is when your opponent uses a move, Sketch will make Smeargle permanently learn that move. So let's say your opponent uses um, Flamethrower, and you want your Smeargle to learn Flamethrower. Well, then you would use Sketch, and it would Sketch that move. So it's very particular what moves you can learn, especially in like a regular playthrough. It's really fun to use. Um, what do these unknowns say? They say... Ho oh, oh. So this secret uh, has to survive the move used, though. Yes. And Smeargle is not that strong. Um, so earlier in the game, if you recall, um, I showed you all the puzzle of Kabuto. And this one is the puzzle of Ho-Oh. And Ho-Oh, if you remember, is the Pokemon that resurrected the legendary beasts. And I might be doing the puzzle wrong. I should be able to get kind of like the tops and the sides pretty well. Because um, the Kabuto one's pretty easy, but sometimes I get a little mixed up on the ho -Oh. Um This one is annoying, yes. Um, there's a Kabuto, not Kabuto, um, Almanite one that really annoys me. Um, and I might be mixing those up. If I am, we'll just switch them later. I should be here. Yes, and then we have, like, the talons. Is this it? Okay, that's not quite it. I gotta swap these. 
There we go. We swap that one on the other side to make it nice and symmetrical. Um, so when you do these challenges, success! Thank you. Um, I believe the strange presence here. If you remember, we fought some unknown. Um, I believe when you do that, um, you unlock more letters of the unknown. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, that is such a bummer about Smeargle. That makes me so mad. <laughs> I thought that was going to be so fun. Uh, oh well. Oh well. I will show you a Smeargle on like a Saturday stream or something. Oh, but if you're wondering what that other door went to, um, it just goes to another puzzle. Um, it just goes to another puzzle like that. Um, you were correct. Also, unknown decks? Oh. Do you mean, like, getting every kind of unknown there is? Let's see. What else can I show you guys? Because I don't want to do Jasmine just quite yet, because I want to... Oh, the scientist in the house. Oh, crap. I flew away. <laughs> Uh, oh, but I can hop back there real quick. Give me a second. Um, because, honestly, the Ruins of Alf is not something that I have explored, like, super duper a ton. So let me just hop in here. So, yes, here is kind of like a scientist researching stuff. Pokemon appeared in the Ruins? That's incredible news! We'll need to investigate this. Oh, okay. Um, what, what do you say, dog? Oh, hi, don't run away. Uh, the strange Pokemon you saw in the ruins? They appear to be very much like the drawings on the walls there. Hmm. That must mean there are many kinds of them. Ah! Very cool! Um... So, I actually don't know much about this. Um, oh, maybe I do have to finish all the puzzles. Um, so you're saying they will- will they kind of give me, like, a challenge to find all the kinds of unknown? Is that kind of the deal there? Um... Because so far we've done the Kabuto and the Ho-Oh. Um, Ho-Oh is kind of like the mascot legendary of... They'll upgrade your Pokedex. Very cool. Okay, cool. Um, thanks, Tech. Um, but, uh... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Ho-Oh is the mascot legendary of Pokemon Gold. And Lugia, my favorite Pokemon of all time, is the mascot of Pokemon Silver. And Ho-Oh is the one that resurrected the... Uh, legendary Beasts, which is super cool. Oh, a PowerPoint up. Great. Um, we will use that at some point. And, oh yeah, this is... These are, like, a couple secret items you can get in Violet City after you get Surf. Um, there is a lot of cool things in the game that, like, open up when you get Surf. And, like, here we got a rare candy. Love to get a rare candy. And again, I'm always pocketing my rare candies until the end of the game to just kind of like, ah, oh, there's one in Cherry Grove too. Let's grab it. Let's grab it. Let's do the secret stuff. Um, so. Ah, yes. I do recall. This guy, I believe, gives you an item called a Mystic Water. Yes. Um, it is a lot like the charcoal. It's a lot like the... Um, whatchamacallit, the soft sand, in that it powers up water-type moves. And that's actually sick. Ooh, not that. We're gonna give this mystic water to Pampras! Power up that surf. That surf is about to get OP. OP, gang. Um, there's one for every type. Oh, yeah! Um, because there are people that only appear on certain days. Um, throughout the game. Again, just really, really driving home that point of like, there's daily events, there's special things you can only do on different days. Um, and yeah, there are people that give you a specific item based on the day. Um, and that is how I know you get some of them. Some of the items that power up a specific type's moves. Um, so what, what I'm going to do here... Ooh, I'm actually going to do this. 
Because the... Not yesterday. Last time we were together, I... I'm going to deposit a pogo for now. And we're just going to withdraw my wife so I can use cut. Uh, where is she? There she is. Oh yeah, and we have the miracle seed on my wife. Um, if you want, I'll tell you who's available today. Sure. Um, lay it on me. So, last time we were together, uh, we had this little event with Suicune that we couldn't unlock. Uh, let's see. Let me save. I don't think... I don't think you've seen fights you here. <gasps> ah! Suicune runs away. Oh, no. He doesn't. He just, uh, he doesn't even show up. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, yes, that is a great thing. I think, uh, kind of one of the last things we can do today is I can show you the kind of the secret parts of the Lake of Rage. And these three little trees, these are apricorns. Um, and I'm not going to pick all of them because they give, they each give you a different type of ball because I want to save the bag space a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do... Green, uh, you want to get that green? I'll get the green. Here we go. You requested it. I'll grab it. Green apricorn. There we go. Um, so then here we have the yellow apricorn. And like we... Woo! <laughs> That's right. And like we did with the fastball um, with Kurt, you can give those apricorns to him, and he will give you a um, specific kind of ball. And Tech, do you know offhand what color what balls those uh, colors give. I don't know off the top of my head. So here, if we go up this way, oh, those rocket guys should be gone now. Um, now that we drove the guys out of Mahogany Town, this is actually a good little secret. Um, oh no, it's okay. Um, this guy, he's just like, oh, I got chased from my post by those thugs in black. They left this behind. It makes me uncomfortable. Could you take it away? This is the TM for a move called Sludge Bomb. And Sludge Bomb is a really good move. It is, I believe, like an 80-ish power poison type move. Um, at this point in the series, it's the strongest poison type move, which is awesome. Um, so, oh, I kind of went the wrong way. There we go. So this guy, I'm actually going to say green is a friend ball. That's cool. Um, I'm not going to fight this guy quite yet because he has a few Gyarados. And those give a lot of experience. And like I said, I want to kind of save that for our last team member. So here is kind of the other side of the Lake of Rage. And there's a lot of good items you can... Oh, I have no space left. Crap. Oh, okay. Let me... I'm gonna want that full restore. I will give this soft sand to Rupert just for now. There we go. Okay, so here is an area behind the Lake of Rage, kind of like a secret area. And you can get up through here, and this guy has three Pokemon. We'll go ahead and fight him. Um, I think he just has, if I'm not mistaken, all of the Kanto starters, which is a nice little Easter egg to have back here. At least I'm pretty sure he does. Oh, he has all the middle forms of all the Kanto starters, so even better. Okay, good. Really don't like sleep moves. Don't hit. Is he going to try to leech seed me? We'll see. Razor Leaf is a move that has a high critical hit ratio, so I am not going to mess around with that. Um, there we go. And next, should have a Charmeleon. Absolutely. We will get Pampers here to take out the Charmeleon. The evolved form of Charmander, of course. I feel like Charmeleon is kind of like a slept-on Pokemon. I think it's a really good middle stage. Earlier, I was kind of saying that Charizard is super overrated, but Charmeleon's a cool middle stage. And then finally, we have War Turtle. We don't have great moves against water types, but we can probably just overpower this fool with some headbutts. Um, 
It's raising that defense. It won't save you now, War Turtle. Margo's too strong. I tell it to everybody, nobody listens. None of these fools listens. Boo! Also, the old lady at the top of Sea and Wood will rate your Pokemon's friendship. Oh, the lady in Sea and Wood will? I know the uh, lady in Goldenrod has been. Um, so what we can do is we can cut this down. And... Yes, this is Wesley of Wednesday, what, what Tech was talking about. Uh, well, how do you do? Seeing how, how it's Wednesday today, I'm Wesley of Wednesday. Pleased to meet you. Please take a souvenir. Ah, he gives you a black belt. So let me do something. I'm going to have to use an item. Use an item or toss an item, maybe? Um, you know what? I'll toss the yellow apricorn. Because I can always pick another one of those tomorrow. That's no big deal. There we go, grab that black belt. Love to see it. And what black belt, yes, it beefs up the power of fighting type moves, so that is actually a great item to put on our Heracross. That's right, Rupert getting, Rupert getting that upgrade. Um, yes, I only put the soft sand on Rupert just so I could make some room in the bag. Um, all right, so if we kind of continue through this little kind of like hedge maze back here, behind the Lake of Rage, we can pick up a few more items. So let me do that. Pop back here. TM43, I actually don't remember what that is. Um, I'm really enjoying kind of doing some of the, ooh, Detect. Detect is a move that's pretty much exactly like Protect um, in that it can block an opponent's move. So this person gives you a very interesting move. You have strayed far. Here, I have meditated. Inside me, a new power has been awakened. Let me share my power with your Pokemon. Take this child. SCG received TM10. Um, this is hidden <laughs> Gross. I know, if a person in real life said this to you, walk away. Run away, kids. If someone in real life says that to you. Um, it is hidden power. It draws out the power of Pokemon for attacking. Remember this. Its type and power depend on the Pokemon using it. Stranger danger. You're so right. Um, but that is a very useful move. Every Pokemon can learn Hidden Power, and its, uh, its type just depends on the Pokemon. It depends on some of the kind of, like, numbery, like, randomly generated things that you get with each Pokemon, like its, kind of like its effort values or its nature, like things that you don't, hidden stats, yeah, in this game it's hidden stats, things that you don't really see in the game. Because technically, like, technically I could have caught, like, a different Heracross with different hidden stats that could have made it better or worse than the Heracross we're using. But usually when I do a playthrough, I usually don't worry too much about those type of things. I just kind of like to have fun with it. A lot of people, especially, like, competitive battlers, will really hone in on, like, the hidden stats or, like, the IVs and EVs. Those are kind of, like, things that I don't really know too much about. I'm sure other... Um, streamers and YouTubers know way more about that than I do. So here, we have an elixir, which is great, great item. Um, so, folks, with that, we're kind of closing in on an hour. Um, I've really liked this little kind of errand sesh uh, that we've been able to do. Um, in tomorrow's stream, we'll make sure we get Lucius another haircut, and we will fight Jasmine. Um, so that's going to be great. I think I said tomorrow's stream. I don't know if we're streaming tomorrow. <laughs> um, love it. Thank you. Um, but I don't know if we're streaming tomorrow. There's a possibility that we are. If not, the next stream will probably be Saturday. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube ahead of time or after the fact, sorry, this means nothing to you. Um, but if you are watching on YouTube, like and subscribe and comment. Uh, comment your favorite music track in Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, if you have one. Because um, we know our friend Tech here loves the Lake of Rage uh, song, and I posted a clip about that. So many people love this song that's playing right now. Red by Silver Cave Band! That's right! That's right! Oh, thank you for that. Um, Red is a cover of a song from this game that I do with my metal project here. Um... So listen to that if you want to. 
Um, but other than that, thanks, folks. Appreciate you. Have a great night. See you next time. Am I going to fight him? Of course I'm going to fight him. Peace out, kids.